All right, we have yet another distribution that comes from Spatry's suggestion box. And this, of course, is a Debian-based distribution uh, based on their testing branch and yet another distribution that I'm having my first look at. I've never had an opportunity to download this and try it. We are looking at Sparky Linux E17 right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, the one thing that's really nice about E17 is that it doesn't use a whole lot of resources and it gives you a lot of eye candy without having to have a major GPU installed on your machine. So this works great on older hardware and uh, it's full of eye candy. Let's go ahead here and open up a terminal and I'm going to go into applications, Debian applications. Uh, you know, these menus are confusing. That's the one thing that really drives me nuts about E17. And it's probably one reason why I don't give it as much coverage as I probably should. Because I got to go through all of these navigation menus to find a terminal. And uh, I found it before. And uh, yeah, <laughs> where is it? There it is in accessories. Okay, LX terminal here. Let's open up top. And top is telling me that this is using 248 megs of RAM. Now that's cache RAM included. So, uh, I would imagine this would run really good if you have an older computer that has 256 megs of RAM on it. Uh, because this is reporting all of the RAM including cached RAM and that sort of thing. Uh, so it would probably, you know, you'd be using some swap space and that sort of thing. But I'll tell you what, this is a snappy, fast little distro. Okay, very nice in terms of eye candy. They really put together a cute looking desktop here. Four desktops to switch from by uh, clicking them up here. You got your time on the top part of the screen. A network indicator. Currently, I'm not connected to the internet uh, right now on this. Uh, you have a, a button here which will allow you to uh, power off your machine or log out, that sort of thing. This little wrench icon here allows you to get to your settings. And let me tell you what. E17 has it all. It is a customizer's dream come true. You can put widgets and uh, applets and stuff all over your screen. You can have as many as you want or none at all. Uh, so, and everything that you need to configure this is all in here. Your wallpaper, your application themes, your desktop theme, the colors, the fonts, the borders, the transitions that this does, scaling, uh, startup, and compositing effects. Okay, you also uh, have application configuration settings, your screen configuration settings, your window configuration settings. Wow, I think I could get lost trying to set this thing up. Lots of different settings that you can uh, do with this. And I can see why a lot of people like E17 because it is really flashy and pretty to look at. And you can do so much with it in terms of customizing your system. Okay, um, we've got a volume control here. Your uh, locale, where I'm in the U.S., a battery indicator. Uh, this says NA. I'm not sure what this is. This is your screen brightness here, uh, but it's really not going to work because uh, the monitor I have this set up on. And then we have the uh, Sparky A+. Let's click this. Okay, this application, you're going to have to put in your root password. And then this will allow you to do a number of things with the system quite easily. You can safely upgrade your system, do a disk upgrade, a quick install a package from a repository, quickly install a deb package. Uh, you can quickly remove a package, auto remove a pa unnecessary or orphan packages from the system. You can remove old kernels. You can auto clean. You can clean. You can clean. You can clean, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. So get cleaning, okay? All right. You have Ice Weasel as your web browser. And then, of course, you have a file manager with this. And when I was looking at this earlier, um, I think this resembles Thunar. Let's find out what this is. 
Okay, this is using PC Man FM. Cool. Yeah, it's nice to see they have this because uh, I think the original uh, file manager that E17 uh, has kind of left a sour taste in my mouth. All right, and I'll tell you what, this comes with a load of applications. Now, you don't have to click this up arrow to get to your menu. You can click anywhere on an empty portion of the screen, and a menu will pop up. Um, middle clicking gives you another menu for cleaning up windows, and a right click here isn't doing nothing. But I'm sure you can uh, configure a right click to do things if you want it to. All right, applications. You know what? I am, yeah, we'll just do it this way. Okay, in accessories, you get Catfish for searching for files. You get the PC Man FM File Manager. Hey! You get Galculator G Note for your sticky notes that you put up on the screen and that sort of thing. That way you don't have to write on your screen with a crayon. Yeah, you get uh, help, uh, blah, 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 an image viewer. LeafPad, which is a lightweight text editor, the LX terminal, you get a clipboard monitor, you get root terminal, and then of course the X archiver. And under Debian, you have a lot of applications in here in a lot of categories. Uh, so yeah, but le uh, editors, uh, LeafPad, uh, Nano, XEdit, emulators. Why did they put? Wine or play on Linux under emulators. Wine is not an emulator. How many times do I have to tell you that? That's okay. I'm just kidding. All right. Uh, file management, Catfish, uh, MC, PC Min, X Archiver. <laughs> I hate it when menus get complicated like this. I think that's the one thing that's keeping me away from using E17. All right. Uh, in gra in uh, graphics. Now, I'm surprised they didn't put this in multimedia, but you get ABI DMUX, GTK Record, My Desktop, Image Magic, LibreOffice Draw, The GIMP, and X Window Snapshot. Uh, some networking tools come included with this, such as XChat IRC, Pigeon, uh, Ice Dove Mail, you've got file transfer utilities such as Transmission, and you get Good Download Manager, good choice for adding that. And of course, GFTP for uh, file transfer protocol. Send them files up, send them up, send them up to the server. All right, Ice Weasel and WCM for web browsing, and then uh, Life Ray for web news. Okay, uh, you get the full LibreOffice suite with this. You get uh, Python for programming. You get some mathematics stuff in here. Uh, you get bin, blah, 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 blah. let me say that again. In shells, you get bash, dash, and shh. shh. Yeah, be quiet. All right. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I just use bash. But they got some extras in there. Audacity, exhale, and gnome, also mixer. All right, system, <sighs> more menus. <laughs> So, yeah, you get um, some administration tools, including uh, uh, Gnome Partition Editor, UNet Boot, so now you can make uh, bootable disks and that sort of thing. Cool. Uh, some hardware tools, some monitoring tools, some package management tools, uh, Aptitude and Synaptic Package Manager. Okay, you get the uh, Sparky uh, AP. Toots, a Sparky Backup System, and the Sparky Backup Axe Copy. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, you got a number of terminal emulators in here, too. You get LX Terminal, uh, X Terminal as Root, uh, X Term, and then X Term Unicode. In video, you get GNOME and Player, uh, Minitube for watching YouTube, of course, and BLC Media Player and Viewers. You get Kamorama! Gosh, I just couldn't wait to say that. You get events, which will pretty much open up any document you have out there. Uh, G-Thumb, and that sort of thing. Okay, that was just the applications. Now let's go into games. Board games, you get GNU Chess. And then toys, you get O'Clock, X-Clock, X eyes and X logo. <laughs> All right, so some help, info, X man, and Yelp. Yelp, Yelp. 
screen locking lock screen okay and then saving okay activate the screen saver okay da 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 i hope you're pausing the video to read this because i'm not going to read all this for you <laughs> all right games more games arcade nibbles and robots quadrupacel that's a cool game uh chess 3d the yango and mojong uh i can't even read what that says i wish they picked a bigger font for this well actually you can but i haven't been able to figure out where that is and then uh in logic uh yeah <laughs> the menu kind of froze up on me and then in logic five or more yeah so you got a, you got a nice little suite of games in here okay cool Okay, let's move into graphics now. Uh, we already mentioned the Camarema webcam viewer, the document viewer, the GIMP again, G-Thumb, uh, Image Magic, LibreOffice Draw, Simple Scan. Okay, and uh, oh, cool, it's got Team Viewer in here. So now if you have a problem, somebody else can use Team Viewer, go into your system and fix your problem for you, or you can fix somebody else's problem cool all right and it looks like a lot of the stuff in these menus i've already mentioned uh so cool all right and the one thing that's kind of bugging me about this is that uh i have compositing enabled and <laughs> yeah the menus are acting a little bit wonky on me here you get audacity abi dmux dvd that's a cool program for creating your video discs. Uh, DVD encoder, Exhale Music, Gnome Also Mixer, Gnome M Player, Radio Tray. You know, I like that program. Good program indeed. Record My Desktop, Sound Converter, VLC, XF Burn. The full LibreOffice suite comes with this. Uh, you get the Play on Linux, listed in Other this time. And in system, you get Enlightenment File Manager, GWHTOP, cool. Uh, Midnight Commander, a lot of people like that one. Uh, that's, that's another file manager. Okay, and a bunch of other things that I've already mentioned before. Uh, you can take a screenshot. Uh, you have your desktops. You can navigate virtual or your shelves. And that's what these are called here. These are called shelves. Okay, and uh, of course you can clean up windows, that sort of thing, like I showed you with the middle click. Uh, enlightenment about, about the theme, restart, exit, and then settings, all of your gadgets, shelves, and all that stuff. Well, looks like they've included a lot of software with this. Very comprehensive indeed. And of course, because it is based on Debian, you can expect a nice stable operating system, although they don't make any guarantees that this is always going to work properly for you. Because, you know, uh, sometimes updates on a testing uh, distro can cause a little bit of breakage, but usually it's not hard to fix them. All in all, I'm liking what I see, Sparky. Pretty good, and I'd like to uh, thank my uh, viewers who suggested that I look at the E17 version. I have every reason to expect that uh, all the other Debian-based Sparky offerings that are out there are probably just as good as this. Um, the only thing, though, uh, with uh, the E17, yeah, the menus did freeze up a little bit on me and that sort of thing. Uh, I don't know why uh, it would do that, because I do have full compositing and everything available, you know, set up on this. But um, this also works without compositing, so you don't have to have that uh, set up at all. Okay, well, that's all I have on this one. Just a quick reminder, support the show hosts that you love. Please consider disabling your ad blockers. Peace out. Mm -hmm.